we're getting, I was going to say, we, we got to we got to send our laundry out or something, yeah. right? We're exactly. <laughs> Should have brought a different thought. Yeah. Very good. Hi, everybody. Hi. Well, this is an interesting combination uh, <laughs> that we're, we're doing. Yes, it is. No, it really is. It's, uh, uh, but they, they complement one another, really. This is an employee consumer bills. I was gonna, uh, we're walking in two legs here uh, with this one, an employee consumer bill. The first... Uh, relating uh, to wages that uh, that Roz and, and Glenn uh, are here uh, in particular about from the legislative side um, is, is, is an interesting exercise. I was just having a little, a little like a mini discussion of, uh, and I, I brought up the phrase, you know, deposit my check, right, which is 20th century, yeah. right? Yeah. It's 20th century. Technology is, is cha so very rapidly changing uh, what money even means. Um, I'm s still trying to figure out what bitcoins are, 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 are all about. And, uh, other, yeah, other than to, to say I want to stay as far away from that as I can, right? Uh, but um, for, for everybody, uh, it, uh, wages and deposits and, uh, and debits and uh, 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 charges associated with various monetary activities that we engage in is very serious business, no question. And uh, the, the infinite variety that seems to be out there in terms of uh, electronic uh, d uh, devices and, and, uh, um, and uh, uh, manners of doing business is such that this bill is very, very pertinent. Uh, while not everyone may be in a situation where pay cards are, it is, is the focus of the exchange for labor and wages. Uh, nonetheless, there are thousands of people that are in exactly that situation. And uh, uh, in the context that I've just been discussing, they need to have uh, protections and they need to have the rules and regulations pretty clearly stated. The, uh, this was not easy to work out, I understand. Uh, uh, <laughs> Roz is getting a, a wan smile. Uh, at that, but uh, um, uh, this is what compromise is all about, number one, and also uh, working to a conclusion. It's probably as good a, an example of what the legislative process is all about when it works, um, as you can find, because you've got sides, and not two sides, you have sides, uh, maybe a multiplicity of sides. So. Uh, uh, the DL, DLIR, the Department of Labor, of course, has to do the enforcement side of this thing, uh, uh, dealing with it. And I think that uh, that uh, this uh, legislation allows the DLIR to, to exercise its good offices in a, a responsible and constructive way. So I, I want to offer my congratulations uh, uh, in that regard. Um, then. On the other side of this uh, question, um, uh, uh, I wanted to uh, commend Representative Rhodes uh, for s steering a course on this as well, uh, very, very much so. Um, uh, I know there was some, let me put it this way, uh, opposition uh, involved. Uh, with this, and uh, it's 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 uh, it, it's very commendable that this was able to be worked out. Um, uh, I want to congratulate um, uh, Raz also on the question of the uh, occupational therapy. Uh, it never occurred to me, in all honesty, that we didn't have licensing for occupational therapy, uh, and. Uh, because I, I signed so many boards and commissions, um, and there'll be a lot of openings now that we <laughs> now that some of this other legislation is, is going through. But um, uh, it's literally hundreds of, of people that you depend upon to uh, to see to it that the everyday confidence that we think we can exhibit, that who we're going to see is in fact qualified to do what they say they're going to be able to do and what service they say they can provide will actually be provided. And provided on, on the basis that the, the customer, the consumer, 
can assume that um, uh, that the services are going to re be be received are in fact uh, that they are in fact protected uh, in the sense that the state has has issued uh, uh, an imprimatur that says um, uh, what is being offered is in fact there and that you can have confidence in the person that's that's offering the services at a minimum the health and safety and protection of, of people is is what any uh, civilized society should offer its its citizens and its uh, and those who, who support it but what was necessary here then was for uh, the legislature uh, to uh, uh, provide for a registration requirement for pr programs and a licensing requirement for occupational therapists and assistants. And that's what's going to be uh, the result of this. A compliance resolution fund has been set up. A means to reimburse that fund uh, has been set up. And uh, 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 the uh, supporters of this, I'm, I'm very happy to say, are across the board. Uh, both from uh, providers in terms of uh, hospitals and, and uh, health care, in terms of the occupational therapists themselves and their assistants, uh, their formal associations and uh, wellness um, and uh, 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 advocates across the state, and of course the Department of Labor and, and Industrial Relations because uh, the association with, uh, with uh, uh, occupational um, uh, therapy is of course uh, intimately associated with uh, people being able to return to work if they've been hurt. Um, uh, sometimes providing a means for people to maybe even get their first job uh, who might otherwise not be able to be, be qualified themselves absent the, uh, the capacity of occupational therapists to give them uh, a start they might not otherwise have. So I'm delighted to have this opportunity today. I'm going to ask our legislative friends to come up while we sign these bills. First on the pay card bill. It's done. And on the occupational therapy practice. There we are. So, 